Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. Have you ever read the verse Galatians 6 and 7? Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For so a man soweth, so shall he reap. So I'm saying to you that's mocking God. What is mocking God? You living a lifestyle that's out of the church. You mocking God. A person that pretend to be something which they're not, you mocking God. A person that living a double lifestyle, you mocking God. Let me go, let me go more deeper. A person, glory to God, that's that's whoring around from Monday through Friday and Saturday you're clubbing and you come to church, you mocking God. A person that living on a down low, you're mocking God. A person that's a homosexual and you call yourself a Christian, homosexual. There ain't no such thing as a Christian homosexual. There ain't no such thing as a, as a Christian lesbian. My friend, you either straight or you're gay. Hallelujah, you're either saved or you're unsaved. So I'm saying to you that's watching this video, God is not mocked. If you're watching this video, my friend, it's time to be clean with God. I know we're not perfect. I know we, st we, we every now we stumble and fall. But the Bible says, unto him that's able to keep you from falling. Some of y'all are hindering people that want to come to God. 2020, my friend, it's time to stop mocking God. If you are a Christian, my friend, it's time to walk the walk and talk the talk. If you're not, if you're not 100%, glory to God, 99 won't do. Hey, glory to God, 99 and a half won't do. And my friend, we got the tool to be to be righteous. We got the tool, not even being righteous, to be saved. I know we stumble. I know we, glory to God, we are, we are sinners saved by grace. But my God. God is not mocked. Some of y'all, y'all straddling the fence. Y'all pretend to be something which you are not. God knows you. And what I'm saying that like you are hindering a person that want to walk with God, but God is not mocked. What you talking about, preacher? Some of y'all are whores in the church. Yes, some of y'all are whores in the church. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all having sex with y'all pastors. Y'all screwing y'all pastors. And your pastor having sex with you just to get a Mercedes Benz, just to pay your mortgage, just to pay your rent. It's time to stop mocking God. Yes, you mocking God. You person, you supposed to be a person who's been saved for 20 years and you're still striding the fence. You're still loose between the legs. Anybody can go up in your hole. You're still horny. You're supposed to be holy, but you're still horny. What I'm saying to you is watching this video, my friend. It's time to stop mocking God. This is what the Bible said. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. You are deceived if you think God, my friend, don't have a prophet, don't have a, a person to call you. Or, the Bible says your sin is going to find you out. What? Your sin, S-I-N, going to find you out. Because the Bible said the weight of sin is death. But a gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. It's time to stop mocking God. You mocking time. Every time you, you open your leg for somebody, glory to God. My friend, if you repent, repent means to turn. Turn or burn. You are mocking God. You mocking time. This 2020 is time to live right. Warning is time to live right. You, 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 hallelujah, you and your job pretending to be something which you're not. You hindering the, the man that want to come to you, but you will, you become a, a crutch. You use Jesus Christ as a crutch. You use Jesus Christ as a shaker daddy. You are mocking God. You are a liar. You're mocking God. You are fornicated. You're mocking God. You're adulterer. You're mocking God. You're homosexual. You're mocking God. You got, you got transgender elders in the, in the house of God. You mocking, you're a witch. You call yourself a, a, a spiritist person. You are mocking God. It's time to stop mocking God. You don't even read the Bible. You don't even pray. You don't even fast. You don't even fall on your knees in the morning and say, Lord, have mercy on me. You mocking God. All your life, say you're a Christian. You don't even, you don't even can't quote one word of scripture. 
your, your Bible become dusty. You, you mocking God. I used to mock God. <laughs> Glory to God. When I come to my senses, it's either heaven or hell. I decided, this Lord, I'm not going to mock you no more. I'm telling you, my friend. What is the profit of man to gain the whole world and lose his soul or give exchange for his soul? My friend, hell is real. Hallelujah. I, I did a message, my friend. If you don't believe in hell, you, you are caught. So I'm saying to you, my friend, don't stop mocking God. Yeah, you are mocking God. You go to church every Sunday, every Saturday, and you still ain't right. You still cussing. You still smoking. You still screwing. You still wearing dress. And you still, you married, you're still a lesbian. You married, still a homosexual. You are mocking God. You still drinking on the down low. You are drunk. You ain't, you ain't in no spirit. You got a hangover last night. You are mocking God. Hallelujah, glory to God. I'm not, I'm not coming down hard on you, but it's time to be right. Because we're we in 2020, and we all know, look, what, look what's going on in our world. Iran been bombed. We all know tomorrow may bring. The Bible says, both stuff for tomorrow, because we know not what tomorrow may bring. The sufficient unto day is the evil thereof. Stop mocking God. It's time to be live right. It's time to talk right. It's time to walk right. It's time to love everybody. I don't care if you're white or black. It's time to stop showing favoritism and racism and sexism. Stop mocking God. All the women on the pulpit, you mocking God. Yes, I said it. All the women on the pulpit, you are mocking God. Call yourself a pastor and you're supposed to be a woman. Hallelujah, you mocking God. That's all I have to say. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you are mocking God. You are mocking time. My friend, you might not wake up tomorrow. Today is the day. Today is the day of salvation. Today is time to give your life to Jesus Christ now or never. Now or never. It's time to be right. It's time to be holy or hell. Holiness or hell. Which one? You choose.